Okay, today I'm going to talk about how to part the waters, like Moses part of the Red Sea, okay, in Minecraft. So here we are, looking down, and I have the night vision on so you can see through the water. And uh, let's just go down in here. We'll just go down, and this is actually just a wall of water. You can walk right through it and go into the deep part of the water and the wall of water just stays there flowing down and you can walk right across if you want right up to the other side and uh, it's uh, just the way the physics in Minecraft works so if you do this properly you have to do it just right and you can uh, create a wall of water it has nothing behind it. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, now it is. Okay, so here I'll do an example of uh, how to make a wall of water with this structure that I've already built. And I have a wall of water here but I'm going to build one off to the side. You can't actually build them together unless, because uh, when, when it comes to the corner, there'll be a problem. But Are you going to make a Minecraft video on how to walk off the cliff but not walking off the cliff? Oh, uh, we can do that later. Okay. So, in order to make the wall of water, you have to um, come in, like I showed in my vortex video, water vortex videos, you have to fill the whole area up with. Uh, Blocks. I'm just using glass because it looks nicer. Can I say you and save time to fix the cars? Okay. And uh, so you have to fill the whole area up where there was water. You have to fill it up with uh, some blocks, not sand or gravel because they fall in, but something that's not sand or gravel, and then you remove the blocks in the middle. So it would be like, uh, you, know, you fill these up Why not to displace the water. The sand or gravel will drop. Yeah, you might want it to drop. You have to have an overhang here. See how it's got one block overhang? Where I'm going to take away the blocks to make the, the wall of water. If it doesn't have that overhang, it will flow into here. Do you do that to make an underwater house? Yes, in fact, I've done that. Let's see, you start at the bottom, you have to start at the bottom, and you can start taking out the blocks, and you go up, 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 and as long as you keep on going up in order, it will make a wall of water with nothing holding it there. And you can start on the next one over, and keep on doing that until you complete the whole wall. Like I said, uh, there, there's a wall of water here at the end, so where they meet, there will be a problem if you don't have something there. But uh, at the other place, I didn't have that problem because they just went straight across. Now let's do our night vision again. Okay, so we can also use this wall of water to uh, make an underground of an underground fort. So I built one over here. And see the, how there's a ledge here? There's a wall of water. And you can go right inside. And now you could breathe in here. If you, this is on creative, but if you weren't on creative, you could use this type of door to go in and out of an uh, underwater fortress. And not have to worry about the water coming in. Okay, so anyway, that's how you make the wall of water, and this is Dr. James, thanks for watching.